What is up everyone, PWG here and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but as you know, times are tough and I have been watching almost all of Netflix. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what I bring in my backpack to training, the essentials, ball, shoes, uh, small little essentials that I need for training, but also for filming. And in the end of this video, I will put in a few training clips from today's video just so you won't get bored of me just talking. But let's just get right into it. So the backpack is a packed bags made by Chase Reeves. I absolutely love this backpack. It's huge, has a lot of space, a lot of big compartments. Also have a little sleeve here for the tripod or for your water bottle. You can carry it like this. Um, you can actually get it right now. They have like this pre-order thing. You can go get it right now. I think the offer is still standing, so you can get this for 40% off. So go check that out. So I'm not a very tidy person. That's why I just chuck everything in the bag. I know I should be more tidy, but I'm not. But let's start with the essentials. So as you can see, the ball is connected to a ball holder that I put on the side of my bag so I can like carry the ball like this. It is pretty smart. The ball holder is from Forevolution, which is coincidentally run by me. So you can get a ball holder through the link in the description. There's not many left, I think, but you can easily just unlock and grab the ball. Since my backpack is already full, I don't have any space for a ball in my bag. So the ball holder is perfect. Now, the ball that I use is the Monta Earth, and it is by far the best match ball that I've ever used in my entire life. It is a little bit expensive with a 120 euro price tag, but it's definitely worth it for blocks, for lowers, for uppers, for sit downs. You can watch the full video of my first look through the link in the description as well. Love the ball. So let's open up this bag. Here's what we got. In a smelly Unisport Life boot bag, I have my beat down, torn down, for Freestyle Explore 3. I love these shoes. Probably the best freestyle shoes you can buy on the market right now. The laces are the only thing I don't like about these shoes. That is why I changed to a pair of Puma shoelaces. There's a link in the description for these pairs of shoes if you want to snag a pair of the Explore 3. I also made a first look and a review of these shoes. So as I said, link in the description if you want to go check that out. So that was the essentials, right? I also bring an extra shirt. So right now I'm wearing a For Evolution t-shirt, the Beat Original V1. I usually bring an extra shirt just because I don't want to go home sweaty. So extra shirt is really nice to have. Sweat towel, it basically explains itself. You dry your sweat, that's it. A pump, any pump would do, just, just a regular pump. There's not much to say about it. Bottle of water in a I don't know what they're called, but they keep your beverage cool. So I filled this with refrigerator cold water and it stays cold throughout the whole training, which is for me perfect because I like cold water when I'm training. So always one of these filled with refrigerated cold water. Apart from regular water, I also drink energy drinks. So got a small one packed in there as well. A little snack, Granny Smith green apple. Always bring that to training as well. I also usually bring a resistance band uh, because right now my wrist is injured so I can't do any sit downs, handstands, transitions on my left hand. So I need to do my rehab uh, drills. Yep, on my left hand with this resistance band. So I usually bring this everywhere I go. And now to the more technical stuff and little small things that I usually bring to training as well. I always bring a charger to my phone. I always bring my phone. This is the OnePlus 7T Pro. That's what I film my stories with and I use it all the time, but I don't play music through this one. I actually bring a second phone, which I'm recording audio on right now. This is the OnePlus 5T, which is my old phone, and I use it to connect to the music so I can let the music run freely. As for the camera stuff, I'm actually filming this on a Panasonic Lumix G9 with an Olympus 7-14 f2.8 Pro. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, that's the camera. This is a Siriu tripod. It's really dope. You can go really high with it. You can also put it vertical so you can film Instagram videos like, you know, the ones like that. 
like that, you know? So a lot of people ask me on Instagram, how do you separate yourself from the background? How do you get that blurry background? How do you make that look so creamy and, and soft and stuff like that? Well, the answer is right here. This is the Canon FL 55mm f1.2 with a no-name FD2 Micro Four Thirds adapter. Wow, that was a mouthful. This is the secret to my blurry clips. This is one out of four lenses that I use to get a blurry background, but this is the one that fits in here because the other one I need to be really far away from the camera and this gym isn't that big, so I go with this one. And this is a beast. It's heavy, but I love it. So that is how I get the blurry background in my training clips. Obviously, camera charger, need to bring that as well. And one of the most important things out there, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I usually forget my SD card. So extra SD card is extremely important as well. This looks like iPhone earbuds, you say? Huh, sure does. Almost has the same size of it as well. But the difference is, this is a camera. Yes, my people, this is actually the Opkix one and it is one of the teeniest, tiniest camera in the world. It's the smallest camera that I've ever tried and ever used, and the quality is surprisingly good on this one. You can attach it to stuff. So for this one, it goes straight onto sunglasses. You can also get the Upkicks one through the link in the description, of course. Impressive stuff. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also bring this little thing just in case I wanna live stream. I can put this on the tripod, and then I can film like this on my phone. Extra battery for the camera, of course. In these troubling times, of course, it's important to have hand sanitizer, even though they have it here as well, for free. Shout out to Nordic Wellness for that one. And the last thing, and actually one of the most important things, is the trigger point ball. And I use it to warm up my muscles before I start training. So, it takes absolutely no space, and you roll on it. So I usually roll my feet because I have really, really flat feet. So I wanna get them warmed up and cozy and nice before I get started with my training. And I also have really stiff calves, so I wanna get those worked up before I start training. So a trigger point ball is a tip for all of you guys. Get one of these, they're really cheap, but they're really helpful if you wanna avoid injuries and stay warm and those are the things that I usually bring to every training if I'm training here. It may sound like a lot, but I only live 200 meters from my gym, so it's fine. I don't have to carry it around for a long time. But enough talking for me. Let's get started with the training. Out in the wild, find eating. Let's see a while, never leaving. So that was it for this video, hope you guys liked it. And if you did, leave a like and a comment down below on what kind of gear you use and what kind of gear you think is essential for your training. Hope you like the training clips. Today it was an absolute horrible session. I have a little bit of a back pain and it's my first training in almost one and a half week. Also leave a comment down below on what kind of videos you wanna see from me during this very weird time. Do you wanna see some training vlogs? Do you wanna see some more three trick trial? I'll be doing a giveaway on a Forevolution shirt very soon because we will be launching a brand new t-shirt in collaboration with a very famous freestyler, very well-respected freestyler. So uh, stay tuned for that and I will see you guys next time.